Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've got our playfield image, which is great. Now we're going to make it a little bit useful for v other VPX things. So we're going to go into the manual. Now manuals can be really good or really bad, depending on the manufacturer and also the era. Um, this manual is pretty good. Uh, the manual for Bram Stoker's Dracula is 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 all right, but their diagrams are absolutely awful. If you scroll down to find a decent looking diagram, which has got sort of the, the most things you want on it, this will do for us. So it's got quite a lot of the uh, objects and lights and where everything goes. So you can zoom in. Oh, look, that's perfect. Now you can do a screen grab. I go back into GIMP and paste it on as a new layer. Teeny weeny little thing here. Scale it up. Make it semi-transparent. Then if you can see, you can if you can line up the objects on the play field. Takes a little messing about. But you want to be looking at things like these dots, where the flippers sit, where some of the lights are. So it's not far enough across, so you move it over a little bit. You'll the one thing is to not worry about it being too exact because um, the blueprints that are in the manuals, oop, the blueprints are in, that are in the manuals um, aren't always correct uh, because nine times out of ten the manuals were printed before the uh, machine was finished and finalised. It seems to be anyway. So you just want to sort of line them up best you can because um, really these are guidelines for what you're doing and where you're going. So the more dots, there we go, some more dots down there. You want to move that over. Very good. All those dots are lined up, all those dots are lined up. That wall looks like it's lined up around the outside. Yeah, pretty good. Scale it. You don't have to do this, but um, layer to image size. You've now got an overlay. You can change the opacity of the layer. Now got a blueprint layer for your VPX, which has got things like the ramps on it. So you can see the ramp patterns. You can either have it fully on. I normally like to have a little bit of the play field showing, but you can see things like where that cutout is there for that ramp, um, where the entrances are, where the pop bumpers are, how big they are, um, and such like, which is pretty handy. So you can do that for if you go back to the manual. So you've got that for just the upper play field parts. This the ramp assembly is on their own. Um, if you want to go to not the low play field, rubber rings. Um, this will tell you. Uh, most manuals have got this. Will tell you what rubbers are on the play field and where they're located um, which can be quite handy sometimes you want this to be posted on your play field as well um, so that is how you make blueprints for a play field too